about time you showed up. I thought I was going to die of old age waiting for you, and I'm immortal! Our scouts told me what you reported to Ashjaw. We Snapjaw are the strongest creatures in the world, you know. But enough about that. I was digging through the palace archives in hopes of finding something useful, but I've hit a roadblock. There should be some ancient documents explaining how the Divine Mandate is supposed to work, passed down by the Emperor's line. It's called the Book of Creation. Problem is, the book is incomplete. Pages are missing. When the dark energies overwhelmed the city, it had some pretty crazy effects on everything. Dokebi, for example. While fiends possess the bodies of living creatures, lesser demons possess simple objects, turning them into Dokebi. No doubt the missing pages have become monsters and are wandering the treasury. Go find those Dokebi. A dynamic quest has begun. <laughs> Last item.
the book is translated from ancient Naryu language, filled with scribbled notes from various authors. It looks like it has passed through many hands over the years. It summarizes the divine mandate, a ritual used to vindicate the emperor's divine right to rule. Prince Sogon must have been trying to use it to proclaim himself emperor. The ritual requires soul stones, the blood of a divine being, a dimensional anchor, and some kind of human vessel. The ritual is supposed to call upon the heavens, channeling their will through the vessel to proclaim the rightful ruler. But without a dimensional anchor to focus the ritual, it could easily go awry. The book warns that the divine mandate is not to be used lightly. Without all the correct preparations, attempting to harness so much cosmic energy would surely lead to disaster. quite a lot of what's happened, and what's to come. You can't see the big picture, huh? Not surprising. Long story short, Prince Sogan tried to perform this ritual 30 years ago, but didn't have everything to make it work right. The original Emperor successfully performed the Divine Mandate over a thousand years ago. As such, his family line all has divine blood, and the Princess Solon was sacrificed by her brother. Prince Sogan had plenty of soul stones too, but I'm guessing he didn't have a vessel. The Twilight's Edge is the dimensional anchor, and he obviously didn't have that either. Jin Sayun's lackey? I get the feeling she's got more to do with this than we realized. She must have been the one to feed into Sogan's lust for power, and help drive him to attempt the ritual. Without all the proper components to focus the ritual's power, the demons of the Dark Realm latched onto the connection and used it to open a dark gate. A path between this world and the Dark Realm. Normally a vessel would be possessed by divine energy, but with the path linked to the Dark Realm instead, the vessel would become the host for the Dark Lord, which would essentially mean the end of the world. Too big of an oversight to be a mistake, if you ask me. Was Yura not trying to summon the Dark Lord? Somehow I think what happened in Highland Central was just part of some bigger scheme. I don't like this at all. Go find Ixanen and let him know what we've learned. 